When you join the military, you are programmed to be successful in the military. When it comes to being in combat, it's kind of like a light bulb. It's an on and off switch. When you leave the military, nobody ever reprograms you to, 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 to focus on your goals as a civilian. You wake up and you know exactly what your day is going to be in the military. You know every single second of every single day. We have our day planned out for us in extreme detail. Veterans, I think maybe when that structure uh, you know, when, when they lose that structure, maybe it kind of, they lose focus. 25% of all the homeless in San Diego are veterans. That's a ghastly number. Unless you have the education to support you and you get into that field you want to get into, you're probably not going to get hired and you're not going to have that potential to move forward with your life. I would think that the, the skills I learned in the military would suffice for a job, but with this poor economy, I couldn't even get a job at Vons or Walmart. Transferring from an active duty salary to no salary is like, what are you going to do with yourself? You're like, if I'm not going to school, how am I going to survive? We're seeing an increase in um, incarcerations, suicides, family marital problems. Uh, the unemployment rate for our returning vets is, is skyrocketing. Um, and so education is really, really key to helping our vets get a, a leg up to be able to be successful in the civilian world. By supporting our veteran students to achieve their degree, we're also increasing knowledge and awareness among the entire student body at National University. The military trains people, doesn't necessarily educate them. And that's where the National University program comes in. It's given me the opportunity to really look at my life and say, what do I want to do with myself? Where do I want to go and how do I want to get there? And education is very instrumental, especially in today's marketplace with jobs. It gives me a focus. I have something that I'm working towards so I don't feel like a fish out of water. For me, education was a bridge into civilian life, but it was also an opportunity to explore myself. There's a recent study that's out that is pretty alarming. Uh, it's done by the University of Colorado that's, that's looked at 800,000 vets that had entered college. 88% of those students never finished school. Having the right support um, and having the right guidance and help um, from you know, family, friends, from your school, from National University, I think it makes it a lot easier. Going to National, I really, it gave me focus. The path was laid out. I could see, okay, take these classes. I feel like I'm in control of choosing the degree plan I want to go for. They have been instrumental in my success and my everything that I've learned. I've come so far from where I first started. I still have nightmares about the experiences I've had over there. When it comes to choosing a seat in class, I'll choose the most closest seat to the door because in case something happens, I can run straight to the door. And physically, it just, it, the amp, not so much the amputation, but my physical limitations, because I, I was in a wheelchair, been in a wheelchair for most of the last year. I made my professor, it was an online course, obviously, so made her aware of what was going on, and she almost took away all the deadlines for me and told me, when you can get this stuff to me, get it to me. I think National University is leading this effort to more economical, more effective education that fits the lives of the people who need it. Between recruit training cycles, sometimes we get three, four weeks off, which fit perfectly with the classes. The first thing I noticed in my very first month of class was that I wasn't the only veteran there. The GI Bill allows us uh, the opportunity to go to college while it meets the majority of the needs. Uh, it doesn't meet 100% of them. It doesn't cover all our expenses. The books are very expensive. Not everyone gets 100%. A lot of our students have less than 100%, and if you don't get that full 100%, you're paying tuition out of pocket. There's certain times a year when they won't get paid for two months, three months, um, and the rent still due, the kids still have to eat, it's been a struggle with several students because then they're, they're stressing about what are they going to do. They're getting towards the end. What other benefits can they use? If we didn't have this uh, scholarships, most of my friends would not actually be um, in college right now. I really don't think that Americans understand what kind of problem we're facing. That if we don't pay a little bit up front to give our vets the tools they need to be successful, 
that we're going to be facing a major social problem uh, later on. We are looking at more of a graduation rate among our veterans of about 60 percent. Giving people an opportunity to have their education paid for is instrumental. I just really want to applaud National University for having a commitment to veterans and understanding that there is an, there is an issue and they're, and they're dealing with it. I've been involved with National University since the early 80s and the work they've done with the military has been incredible and I really believe that this is just taking their understanding of the vet one step further. I feel very motivated by the fact that I have a young son that is looking to me and also by the fact that there is life after the military. Being able to finish that degree, being able to, to, to achieve that and have that career, we'll be able to give back and you know, and the jobs and the careers that we're gonna have. Less than 1% of the U.S. population is involved in the military. And yet, that 1% provides 100% of our national security, which guarantees our freedoms. That is a non-trivial contribution. By investing in our veterans, we're investing in ourselves and what we value and in our goals and in our dreams. I'm passionate, I'm convinced that what our veterans need is this flicking of the switch of getting their mind changed from battle mode to civilian mode. When you join the military, the military takes you from, from I to we because you gotta worry about the team and the mission. What, what, uh, what we need to do to our vets to get them s successful in the real world is to take them back from we back to I and how to, how to function in the civilian world.